In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a website link. So quite often you, we use website links for learners to go and read content or watch a video. They're used mostly for um, learning activities. So you've clicked on website links to come to these Moodle tutorials and they've taken you to YouTube uh, for you to watch this tutorial. So let me show you how to do that. I've got my editing already turned on. You can tell from the icons that are next to each of the items on the page. There's resources and activities that you can add. Activities tend to be um, discussion forums and assignments and activities, games, quizzes, those kinds of things. So there's the crossword when I gave you the crossword in the previous course. Over here is resources where you can add pages and any of the things that are here in most of the course tabs tend to be resources. So here is where you add a website link. It says URL. So you click on add URL. And then let's call it a name. What will we give it? Um, I'll send you to the School of Instructor Ed webpage. So you give it a name. You don't have to give it a description, but you can. And I'm going to do that just so that you can find, you can see on the home page what that looks like. So we'll say, um, Instructor's Diploma Information. So when I have a description written here, I need to click Display Description on Course Page in order for learners to see this description. If I don't click this little box, that's never seen. And I'll show you why when I go back to the home page. So I've got a URL that I've saved, and it's I'm just going to put Paste. So there's the URL. And uh, here is where I... I choose how I want to display it. So automatic will just take you from your Moodle page to the instructor diploma page. Embedding it means that the, the page will show right within the home page. The reason we don't do that in Moodle is because when you embed too many things, Moodle starts to move slower. So I choose to use pop-up most often. I like pop-up because it allows you to go to that other um, URL, in this case the Instructor Diploma page, without being taken away from the course shell. So it's still easy enough to close the pop-up when you're done and you're back in the course shell. So then you can close, choose Save and Return to Course. And I'll show you what it looks like. So here's the URL, the page that we just added. This is the description right here. So when I clicked on that little checkbox, it made the description show up here. You can also edit this page and you can choose to have your description a little bit indented or let's say you want to put it in red so you'll choose the text and you'll choose red. So there's anything you want to do you can do just click save and return to course. It looks like what you saw it look like when you made it on the other page. So sometimes that's helpful and you might remember in 4151 I sometimes had uh, descriptions here uh, for the faculty focus links that I sent you to remind you that you're going to need to open an account to go to that web page. So that's that's handy. Otherwise, you'll notice all of these URLs that I added. I didn't bother to put in a description because I didn't feel it was necessary. So that's how you add a URL or a web web page. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a page. So a page just is additional content, like this is a page, this is a page. It allows you to, get, to create information for your learners. So you simply click on Add a Resource again, and you choose Page. And then you call it something, so Adding a Page, we'll have that title, actually. Yeah, we'll have that title. So if you put anything here, this information won't show unless you click on display description on course page like I showed you with adding a website. This is the page content. So this is all of the details um, that will be visible to learners. So this is the information that you want to display on your page and you can um, uh, instructors diploma. You can add a website link if you want by clicking on this little link right here. 
and you put the URL that you want them to go to. Here, you choose open in new window so that they are taken to a new window and they don't lose the page they're on. If you leave it as is, then the, your learner will navigate away from Moodle to go to the website you give them. You want to keep it in a new window and then click insert. So here's the information that you want to display on the page and instructor's diploma. So I'm going to save and show you what it looks like. And here's the page that we just added right here, okay? So adding pages is the website link that you clicked on to find this tutorial. You can tell from the image next to it. Adding a page, there's a picture of a page next to it. So this is just what we built. And when learners click on adding a page, they'll find this is the information you want to display. We just typed that. Here's the website link we created for them. And you'll notice, like, oh, I don't know if you can tell from this video, it goes into a separate page. So if I close the page, maybe just off your screen, so you might not be able to see, but I'll show you that if I close this tab, it goes back to Education 4152 in Moodle. So that's how you create a page. It's quite straightforward, um, just like creating the URLs, and it's found under Add a Resource. So I'll let you try that out with your course.